Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. You've all been asking for an update on War Pets and obviously we have now fully got into it. We've played it a few days and we've got a good grasp on War Pets. So stay tuned for the full gameplay guide on War Pets and what you need to know to excel at capturing each one of them. Hello, smash a like, comment and subscribe for more daily Cop Dragons content with me, Mr. Sneaky. And yes, we're going to be going over War Pets today. So we've got a lot to go over and we're trying to make it in different sections. Obviously, it's all going to be timestamps like always. So just stay tuned. So War Pets, what are they? They're the new basic mechanic in the game. This is a new mechanic that you can apply onto your legions to help empower them, right? So what you can do is in the zone now, when you zoom out, you're going to have minions, which are like your dark creatures here. You've got your patrols, but if you've noticed, there's a little like paw here. And this paw represents one of the war pets, right? And you can find them by doing this, or you can even press the F and search for even any of them. You can search for all or specific ones if you're looking to try and capture only a specific uh, war pet and we'll talk about the reasonings why. Once you've found the one you want to capture, all you're gonna to need to do is basically click it and make sure you hit capture. So when you hit capture here, you're gonna be able to then select your units. If you're gonna select five units, make sure all five are selected to capture. Because if you don't and you just accidentally, you know, right click and attack this thing, it will just attack, it will not capture, meaning you have killed the war pets. So There's a little tip there for you guys who are capturing your war pets. So once you've got your war pets though, what is able, the new icon here is the pet sanctuary. So you're gonna be able to hit the pet sanctuary and all your pets can be in here, right? And depending on your status and levels, you're gonna be able to upgrade the amount of slots in here. And the way you can do that is pretty simple. You just press in the bottom right corner, the very, very bottom right corner, and it brings up your pet enclosure. And in here, you can see this little plus icon. For gems, you can increase this amount. It's 10 gem per key. So just remember that. If you're trying to get as many as you can, you can farm gems and get these keys, and they will obviously unlock more slots. So what this does then is, as you can see, there's a new new menu and this is the first menu but i'm going to start introducing to you some more in-depth stuff right um, and this is where your base attributes are your skills obviously your xp and quality right and then this taming icon which we're going to go on after so your xp for your war pets just to let you know if you capture them in season one season one plus for example whenever they are available for, to you you're gonna maintain the XP. It is confirmed, we tried it, and everyone's kept the XP that was in your war pet. So a big tip right now, if you're in the end of season and you can capture war pets and you've got a bunch of CP saved up, just use all your energy, use all that CP up, and get these things leveled up. And the way you can level them up is pretty simple. All you've got to do is when you come out of your city, and when you click deploy, you're gonna to need to create your legion. And as you can see here, you need to configure and equip the one you want to level. In order to equip it though, one requirement is to be met and you'll see it on these guys. You need to reach affection level two to equip any of these war pets to your march. Once they're equipped, it's simple. Just kill patrols, kill behemoth, you know, just do content with them equipped. They're gonna level up. It's pretty simple, honestly, guys. So when you've got them, um, when, when you're looking at the affection level here, what you've got to do is pretty simple. You can see inside the actual arena here, all of the pets. And if you click on one of the pets, for example, you can see this is the one with a level two affection level. And with a level two affection level, what it's going to allow me to do is obviously equip it. But if I look at someone like here, this is a level one affection level. And in order to increase this, you can do a variety of things. You can press this button, which sometimes is active. And when it's active, that's when you get the affection up for free. You can also clean up a bunch of mess. And this mess, I'm not gonna lie guys, currently of this video, and hopefully this does improve in the future, 
but as of now these will drop once per day so depending on what you've got in here you're gonna get more drops i've already claimed two of them and we've got two more here so by clicking it as you can see we're starting to get some affection levels increase so there now that's 40 this is 40 this one's nearly up you can also increase affection by gifting food to your thunder rock or to your war pet and it's pretty simple if we just uh, press the wrong button there let's just get him back in so what you what you do is pretty simple you just go to them you see this little icon you just press this icon and you can see that there's food that they can be given right each pet has its own food type so you can look strike back and eat the food or the berries you've got food or berries here food food or berries food and food right and it's the same for the last boy up here which is the snow boys so if we look him out he will one if we want to feed him just food and this purple sauce right and the way you can get that is pretty simple so every time we are interacting with our war pets here as you notice at the top right corner we've been gaining this love heart this pet coin currency and what you do is with this pet currency you hit the claim gifts and then you're in this section you need a hundred to draw ten but for ten of them you can draw one so we can draw two right now to showcase it it's a nice little animation and we got a skill in this time Hopefully we might get a food this time. We can check the percentage chances afterwards. And there we go. We've got a bolt beetle, which is really good for the giant lizard. So if we give this to the giant lizard, it's going to be really, really happy. And we can showcase that hopefully. If we go to food, we've got the bolt bearer. We're just going to give it. And as you can see there, boom, it smashes all the way up. So we can use that now as a giant lizard. We can use this to our advantage by equipping it to our war pets. So there's a few other things you need to look at the top right corner. So you can see at the top, you've got this seven out of seven. This just represents the amount of war pets you've got inside. And you can change this on the fly, which is really cool. So a really good tip here is, for example, this Berserker Drake I have just caught recently. So if I get rid of the Golden Rock and now click the Taming icon, this guy is now going to appear inside. And as you can see, his affection bubble is red. So if I click it, you can see that affection now increase right so it's a really good way so if you're you know capturing newer new pets you can always you know quickly get them in hit the affection level just to get the currency and then quickly you know swap them back so you've got the one that you want right so that's all all the basic bits in this what you're going to need to know and then the next two currencies is what we're going to um, talk about because it's in the next in-depth thing i think i've given you guys a nice little you know, a breather each time and we're taking it step by step. So I hope you've enjoyed the process so far. So these coins is pretty simple. These coins are from the trader. So in here you can see you can buy and you can also sell different things. So right now I could sell the item I just got from the chest for 240 coins, right? And by doing that, I'm going to be able to then maybe invest in the future into one of these, which is like, terror barrier which is 240 right something i might need so it just gives you a, a good indicator of what that currency is for it's only for buying and selling your skills for your war pets but the next one is the most important one and this is the one what i want to talk about a little bit more in depth about and this is actually your the warrants so your warrants is basically the ability to catch war pets so at the moment at the very start of every season you're going to get access to two meaning you're only going to capture two pets every single day that means every single day once it's reset you can capture another two but you can increase this and this is where it the policies now come in because i do hope in the future they add more maybe another one here but if we go across to the level three military expansion here, you can see now a new policy. And this gives you one warrant every time. So on, honestly, when you upgrade this and you're going to need it and you can even gem this, you can wait the one day or the one day and a half. That's how much it costs for each time you do it. 
it's only going to give you one, but with all three of them, you're going to get five captures, and you're going to need to capture all five of these war pets as often as you can per day. And the reason why you're going to need to do that now is when we come into actually the main menu again. So we're going to go a bit more in depth in here. So as you can see, all the war pets have different skills, right? So these skills are tied to the war pet what you capture it. This can be random. You can get random base skills out of a massive table that you can get for these war pets or you can also get specific ones so this guy here is arrogance and this skill is specifically for getting a berserker fire drake so even though i've got a blue fire drake right here what i can actually do later on which we're going to show is inherit certain skills into our guys and by doing that we get basically get the skills it's a really cool mechanic you also can release them so if you release a you know a pet you're gonna have the chance to also get the skills unlocked for your war pet so there's a there's different ways as you can see to gain skills from the trade system as well as from capturing and releasing these guys so from here, you've got your base stats. Your base stats are pretty simple. You can imagine the better the base stats they are, you're gonna have a better outcome. So if you look at some of these, for example, this needs a really good endurance. So if we look over here, we've only got a C. But if we look on this one again, this needs endurance, this is only a C. So we're not happy really with the endurance level on our fire drake. But if we look at our slow peak here, we need a really high agility. We've got an A-class agility here. So this is gonna scale really, really well when we use it. Same with this needs luck, and we've got a really good luck at the moment. And obviously this is gonna scale off there. So it's a pretty simple system, the, the stats, scale the skills right so it's very simple but what you can do and which is a really cool thing is you can in change potentially and increase these stats so what you can do is go into regenerate here and as you notice the top right corner we get these regeneration pots and these pots are what you can use to basically change the stats and the quality of your guy so as you can see here this is a almost a better one it's all c's here better base stats and we've got a really good a so we could technically save that and now this is what we've got to work with so when we go to regenerate now you can see it's going to go through again so we just keep working through hopefully we might be able to get like a legendary and there we go a legendary berserker guy and if you've noticed every single time the quality is increased the amount of skills here increase too so we're gonna hit save we got the legendary guys so that's a really good one i've still got 14 regens to do so we can try and do that on some of the others right in order to get those regeneration pots which i know you guys are probably wondering how you just got those there's quite a few ways at the moment you can go into even like your daily your daily is going to give you regeneration pots here you also can get them through certain events you can also get them through, if I remember, do, 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 uh, your main quest line as well. This main quest line also gives you them. So just, just keep going through. You're going to get a bunch, honestly. But if you're a bit of a spender, a really good thing to show you is in the monthly pack. In the monthly pack, you're going to get five every single day. So every single day, you're going to be able to regenerate all your pets to try and get the legendary ones for all of your pet so it is a really good way to get five um, at the moment as well as well as obviously the events and other means to get them so that's the regeneration side so what we're going to do now is actually go into inherent so what you can do in this game and it's a bit hidden at the moment is this little button you can see this little button here and this is called inherent so you accept and then you consume whatever you choose here there's no war pets currently of the same type so if we go and find one which we have so like this guy and we go to skills click consume here and click on this guy and confirm this will then basically go from here into here as you can see and once this is done the seven seconds you're going to be able to confirm it and choose it so you can see we're going to consume berserker fire drake this skill is now going to transfer over 
to the Berserker Fire Drake. Just know if you do this, you will lose this war pet. You're gonna consume it in order to upgrade this guy. And as you can see, it costs you 5,000 of the coins to do that. So it is actually good to kind of keep some of these guys, right? Because you could in release it, which I'm gonna do for the video, but you could also keep this guy because he has a really good skill, which you want, and you could put it on top of this, right? And you can make it sure that it's a good skill for the, the fire drake. So it's a really good way of actually sorting out your skills in that way. There's another way you can sort out your skills pretty simply, and that is just hitting the skill button. And by hitting the skill button, you can see all these skills that you can potentially learn. You have to obviously have the currency to learn them. You can go up to one star, two star, and then there's three stars. But as you can see, there's no usable three stars in the game currently. But these are all the two stars, right? So you can try and get some two stars to make it even stronger. Once you've got it, you can buy and learn it, and it'll add it to that skill sort, right? So pretty simple so far. And then, like I say, what we're going to do is release this Fire Drake. We're going to showcase what it does. So once we release this Fire Drake, it's going to be permanently lost. And it's going to be sad, sad to see. But we can capture more War Pets in the future. But by releasing this War Drake, we do have a chance of getting the skill as well. So that's another reason why you want to release it. We didn't get it, but as you can see, we actually got a regeneration pop back. So really good to see that you get our regenerations from them, from releasing them. So another showcase there of getting a regen pot. So I've gone over pretty much most of the stuff. The last bit here is just War Pet skill cards. These are cards that I just have and I can then use these on certain guys or if I want, I can sell them. Um, this is just a little area again for your war pets, right? So that is pretty much the big gist of the war pet system. I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't wanna over complicate it for you. Um, if you're wondering which war pets are the best, I might do a tier list for it, but you can as well, just if you click on your tails here and click on codex and click creatures, go to the war pets section, this is the wild one. This shows you what the wild war pets kind of have as their little damage abilities and stuff. So it's really cool to see what they are, what they're doing. So it's all up to you, you know. They're all different types. You've got physical and magical based um, war pets to choose from. And it's obviously, it's up to you which ones you want to capture. But as you can see there, that's what you want to be doing. You want to be capturing these war pets, get them in there, clean up some mess, hopefully get the affection levels up on those big boys and then once you've done that you're going to be able to then use regeneration pots to change them into hopefully a legendary war pet for yourself so i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope this helped you guys get into the swing of things just remember we are learning this is day one of server two in season two and this is going to be the first guide on the channel to do with it we're going to be talking about the map as well as talking about other things to do with season two so stay tuned for all of that news and update if you're looking for more info about it if you're not in this season right now so i hope you've enjoyed it smash a like comment and subscribe and with all that said stay safe stay sneaky and peace out